Hello, this is Marge Gupta Sundarji with Emerge Management Moment. This is the final in this series of videos that I've been doing to help you seamlessly make the switch to a supervisory position. I've said all along that when you take on the role of supervisor for the first time, it's important to recognize that the change in your job title must also be accompanied by a shift in how you think. It's not the same job with a few minor changes. It's a completely different occupation. Here's one final point to consider. When you get the title of supervisor or manager, the people around you experience a significant and major shift in perception. See, once you get promoted to supervisor or manager, you are cast into a new role that comes with different expectations and perceptions. Now, for one, you are probably paid more than the members of your team, and you probably receive different, and in most cases, improved benefits. Many of those benefits will be perceived as perks by your people. Now, it doesn't matter whether you think they are perks or not. That's the way they'll be perceived by others. And these perceptions will create unexpected consequences, some of them not so pleasant. By virtue of your title, you will have access to information and resources that your staff will not. And sometimes that will make your people feel vulnerable. You have to appreciate that in your new role, there is a status separation between your role and those of your staff. It doesn't matter whether it's perceived or real, it's there. As a result, you can no longer be just one of the guys. Respect that. Don't fight it. Focus instead on working to open the lines of communication as much as you can. This fact is a reality of your new role. Learn to live with it. Don't get frustrated by it.